All right, the uh, PBR materials in the uh, terrain painter, you'll see base texture size, macro texture size, and detail texture size. Now, it shows you that the base texture size is 2048 by 2048, whereas the macro and detail, there's 1024 by 1024. Why this is important, because in the 18 different textures and the five different groups, you got base color, normal, roughness, ambient, height. Each one of these has base color, macro, and detail. This map needs to be 2048 by 2048, where these two maps need to be 1024 by 1024 to follow the rules this has declared here, basically. Same thing with ambient occlusion. Base texture size is 2048 by 2048. Macro in detail for the ambient occlusion maps is the same as over here. They're going to all be the same as over there. If you open up every one of these, the base color texture is 2048 by 2048, and the macro in detail is 1024 by 1024. And normal is the same way, and base color is the same way. Basically, every one of these five components of these five different types of terrain material these five different elements that make up the whole terrain paint each one has a base color macro and detail base color macro detail base color macro detail base color or base texture i mean macro detail base color or <laughs> Base, yeah, base texture color, macro detail. This needs to be in all the base colors, 2048, 2048, every one of them. Now, the ones on the bottom, these settings for the, let's go back to the top. Close all this so it's not so damn confusing looking. So the macro scale, macro strength, that doesn't have to conform to this. That has nothing to do with this. That just has to do with the settings for the macro texture. Uh, same thing with detail. These settings here have to do with the settings for the how does the texture is displayed, how it's scaled. And that's the same case with all of these. And they all need to have something in them. I mean, the easiest way to make a normal map, I'm sure you, if you're working with PBR, you know how to make normal maps. But the things that's kind of confusing could be the roughness maps. Uh, they need to be grayscale, ambient occlusions, grayscale, and heights, grayscale. I know it shows it red in here. Uh, also, they need to be PNGs. They can't be DDS format. So keep that in mind. Now you need PNGs. PNGs, phones, pongs, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's see if I'm missing anything or is that everything? I'm trying to think. The bolt color texture change, that, I won't even fool with that. I just tell you not to fool with it. Um, that's probably that can be useful if you're moving the textures from one different level to another level and you want to bolt change and all the textures are already made you just want to swap them to a new level uh, so yeah I made a video on making this the, like I said it's been a while back and uh, it was like converting level to PBR level. And uh, it's just time consuming. There's just so many damn materials that you got to have. And a proper height map is uh, basically where the whites are, where the whites are um, closer to you. I mean, higher. Whites are higher. Blacks black is 
That's the wrong thing. Hold on. Let's see if I still have it in here. I may have deleted it. I think I did. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I mean, I have to probably make another video soon about how to do it.